Hello, kids. Hello. It's Mr. Fry, the science guy. Just put it that way. Uh, I hope Bill Nye doesn't sue me for trademark infringement. Bill's, I'm wearing his shirt. So hopefully that one is okay. What I'm going to ask you about here is one simple question. If I had two items and one weighed 20 times more than the other one, and I dropped them both in water, which do you think would sink? I mean, like immediately you would think, well, the heavier one, it's way heavier. It's going to sink in the water. And I'm going to show you why how much something weighs does not necessarily decide whether it's going to sink or not. For instance, I give you a pebble. Bing. Look at that right there. It's about one gram. That weighs about the same as a penny. And a big piece of wood. This weighs about 20 grams. Literally, this wood weighs 20 times more than this pebble does. It is way heavier. Yet, if I put them in the water, watch what happens. <gasps> the lighter one sunk, and the heavier one floated. Huh? How, how does that happen? Well, when you're talking about things that are floating, we're not going to talk about weight. We're going to talk about a scientific word called density. Say it with me. Density. That word describes how much of an item, how tightly packed things are inside of it. If you are dense, you can be really heavy and yet really small. And if you're not, you can be very big, but you don't have to weigh very much. For instance, I'll show you another thing I've got here. A coin. A special coin right here. And this coin is made out of pure steel, and it weighs about 25 grams. It falls pretty hard. And then I give you these sponges. Now look at the difference. Look at the difference in size. Yet these are actually almost way lighter than that pebble. These are not dense. There's a lot of air inside them. They're very light. And so when I put those in the water, they're going to float, even though how big they are. But if I put this little tiny coin in the water, because it's made out of steel, and steel is very dense, it's going to float. I mean, sink. Right. <laughs> ah, I'll keep on going. So how can we have fun with this? Well, we're going to compare the density of different fluids. That's right, fluids that weigh more or less than each other. And it's pretty fun to try out in the kitchen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move our little bucket of water here. And I'm going to bring in... There we are. And in this glass, we're going to put a substance that everybody compares the density to. And that is water. I put a little food coloring in this. It won't change the density, but it will make it easier for you to see. There we are. If you want something to sink, it needs to be more dense than water. It needs to have everything packed together tighter. And if you want it to float on water, it has to be less dense in the water. And I happen to have two different fluids here that are going to fit that bill. So what I'm going to do first is show you some vegetable oil. It's actually very light. When I say light, I mean fall away something. But if I had this full of water, it would weigh a little bit more. So when I pour the water here, it has less density in the water. So where do you think it's going to end up? Let's watch. Pour it in right now. There we go. Where is it all going? It's all rising to the top because it is lighter than the water. I can give it a little stir and maybe leave it long enough. It will all float up. What's something else we could put in there? Maybe we might find the kitchen. Well, I've got some honey. Mmm, honey. And it is very dense. It's almost pure sugar. I mean, it is pure sugar. And that makes it a liquid, but it also makes it... Here we go. If I pour some of this in, it is much more dense than the water or the vegetable oil. So where do you think it's going to go? On top or on bottom? Let's see. Oh, yummy honey. Yummy honey. Where's it going? Can you see? It all went 
to the bottom. Ta-da! Whenever you mix fluids of different density, they will automatically layer themselves depending on how heavy they are. I've just done this with three things. But you know what you can do? With your parents' permission, maybe you can go in your kitchen and you can try around a few different things that you can maybe put in there. Uh, I've got liquid hand soap over here. Uh, vinegar you can put in. Some things, if they're the same density, will mix together. Like milk and water are almost exactly the same density. So when you put those two together, they will actually mix up. They won't form a layer. So that's my challenge to you. Give it a shot. Try mixing some things. Take a picture. Send it to your classroom. You can send it to the Bobcat classroom. You can send it to the Stingray. Send it to whatever classroom you're in right now and show off how many different things you can layer and have fun with it. So thank you. I hope we put out a couple more of these for you guys. Just fun stuff you can do at home, fun science stuff. And uh, take care of yourselves. All righty. This is Mr. Fry the Science Guy saying goodbye. See ya. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're too kind. Thank you. Thank you.